Well, we got one week until Halloween. What better way to get in the spirit than discussing the Halloween franchise and its emotionless badass Michael Myers. This week, I want to count down the top 10 Halloween deaths. I'm being very specific here because this isn't a countdown of Michael Myers kills. I wanted to include some that weren't dispensed by Michael himself. You'll see what I mean. So let's jump right into it. Number 10. Neck break. Halloween 4 is going to pop up quite a bit here. First one involves Brady, Rachel's cheating boyfriend. He tries to redeem himself on the staircase by fighting off Michael to help Rachel and Jamie escape. Similar to the back crack in Friday the 13th Part 6, the sound effect here is what really makes this one hurt. <sighs> Number 9, Back Attack. In Halloween 2, Lori wanders around the hospital she was taken to after the events of the original. Nurse Franco tries to catch up to her. Everything seems all hazy from Lori's view, but then... <laughs> Number 8. Gun violence. Kelly in Halloween 4 was a pretty memorable character. Probably because she was hot and kind of a bitch, but who could forget her cops do it by the book shirt? Well, in her final scene, she thinks she's having a conversation with the police officer keeping watch. But it's revealed he's been killed, and Michael decides to use a gun the only way he knows how. Number 7. Lethal Injection. Any pain inflicted upon the eyes is always sensitive to me. So this kill in Halloween 2 always got to me. Nurse Janet goes in search of Dr. Mixter, only to discover that he's been killed. And with a nod to the original, Michael appears from the darkness to give Janet a dose of the same medicine. Number 6. Thumb jam. If my memory serves me correctly, Halloween 4 was the one I have the most memory of seeing first. And the opening kill always stayed with me. An ambulance is transporting the body of Michael Myers to a new facility when one of them mentions that Michael has a living relative, niece Jamie Lloyd. This awakens Michael from his slumber and results in his first kill in 10 years. No, I still don't understand. <laughs> Number 5, Jacuzzi Surprise. This is the last one from Halloween 2, I swear. While Nurse Karen waits for Bud to return to their hot tub fun, she isn't aware that he's been killed and she is Michael's next target. It's kind of funny because she thinks it's Bud, so she messes around with Michael for a bit. But, surprise! <laughs> Number 4, Explosive Finish. Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers is a bit of a mess with its production issues. However, the best thing to come out of it is the death of John Strode, the abusive prick who moved his family into Michael Myers' house without telling them. You're made to absolutely hate this guy, anticipating the moment Michael takes care of his ass. And by God, the payoff is worth it. Number 3. Pumpkinhead. The main reason this is a top 10 Halloween deaths. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, is notorious for being the black sheep of the franchise that doesn't include Michael as the villain. Instead, we're treated to an evil mask maker attempting to kill the children of the world to celebrate Samhain. And we see exactly how this will work from a child who is placed in front of a TV running the hidden signal that will activate the mask's trigger to kill. It's disgusting and disturbing, but I think it's become infamous in the Halloween series. <laughs> Number 2. This one is a major spoiler for Halloween H2O, so skip to this time if you haven't seen it. I'm talking about Michael's decapitation. At the end of Halloween H2O, Lori finally has Michael right where she wants him when- I think you're mistaken there, Tensa. Oh, uh, look everyone, it's YouTube sensation Too Smoky. What, uh, what are you talking about? You say that Lori decapitated Michael at the end of H2O, but did you know it wasn't actually Michael? No. 
It was actually revealed in Halloween Resurrection No. that Michael switched places with a paramedic at the end of H2O. Michael crushed his larynx, switched clothes with him, and escaped while the unfortunate paramedic had his head cut off. No, it was Michael. There's no fucking way in hell it was anyone else. A paramedic would not have been able to open a body bag from the inside. He wouldn't have been able to go through the windshield of a van and casually get the fuck back up. He wouldn't survive being pins between the van and a tree. And why the fuck wouldn't he remove the mask to alert Lori, the crazy woman holding an axe, calling him Michael, that he isn't who she thinks he is? It's just that in Halloween Resurrection... Ah! Alright, so Lori has Michael where she wants him at the end of H2O and finally puts an end to him. And nothing else ever happened after that. And my number one Halloween death wall pin. Is this kill from the original classic bloody? No. Does it have any outrageous and cool effects? Not particularly, but I believe this kill is synonymous with Halloween and Michael Myers. Boyfriend Bob is busy getting beer when he hears noises that he thinks are tricks being played on him. The tension builds as Michael finally springs from the closet, lifts him up off the ground, and stabs him through the chest to pin him to the wall. It's a classic image with the icing on the cake being Michael's head tilt. It's as though he's admiring the horror horrible act he's just committed. It's memorable, iconic, and scary, making it my number one Halloween death. Well, this could get interesting in the comments. Don't agree with my list and think I'm missing some better kills from the Halloween series? Feel free to leave your list in the comments. I'll be back next Wednesday, Halloween, over on my main channel to rank all the movies, including the new 2018 entry. So until next time, peace.